This painting, the title of it is The Shenandoah Valley Story. This, is, this painting is about one small part of my life. The scene takes place at the edge of the small town of Edinburgh, Virginia in the Shenandoah Valley, where I spent much of my young life. The house is a pre-Civil War house, and they call it the Wisset House, on about 14 acres. And it is about 150 feet away from the front porch, there was the Wisson Mill on the edge of the Stony Creek. The property holds the secrets of many Civil War battles. We dug many balls out of the house siding, and we also found artillery shells nearby. This painting reveals a typical early summer evening for our family probably about 1945. Dad, his name's Clarence, just arrived in his 1942 Chevrolet truck after hauling railroad ties all day. He habitually went to the garden fence, propped his foot on the wall, smoked a marble cigarette while observing the garden's progress and contemplating what work he was going to do in it after he ate supper. My older sister, sisters, Dot and Jan, are working in the garden. Jan is on the right with her mud boots on, hoeing weeds. Dot has been picking up small rocks, putting them in a bucket and taking them to the rock pile. You can see me walking toward the woodshed, carrying the milk after milking two cows. Daddy has just called out to me, hey Jimmy, don't forget to stop the hogs before you go to the ballpark. Mother, her name Mary Ellen, is walking down the yard to tell Daddy about a few calls he had gotten that day from people placing their orders for corn from the garden. My little sister, Katrina, in the red dress, is playing, is playing with her friend, John Dinnewick, over by the cellar doors. If you saw the movie, Eric Brockovich, you would have seen Dawn playing the part of a receptionist at Albert Finney's law office. You might be able to see the girl over by the hall of Huntsman House standing on her head. She is Virginia Henson. Now, if you like music, you probably have heard Virginia sing many times. She was Patsy Klein. She loved to stand on her head was practicing her dancing. Daddy teased me and said, here comes Virginia again to stand on her head and show you her new paintings. Up close to the road, you can see Mr. Hensley, Sam, walking, working in his, in his garden. The red, the red chicken houses were built just prior to World War II, and mother raised growers during the war. I think we had chickens going to the market alternating from each house every 14 weeks. So if my memory is correct, every seven weeks it was my job to help catch the chickens and then clean out the manure. You can see the soil red paint under the, the windows caused by me pitching, pitchforking the manure out or fertilizing the garden. Mother doctored those chickens when they got six. Plus she made dresses from the feed sacks, cooked, baked, canned. She worked in the garden much, much more. She was a remarkable woman and a beautiful woman. Daddy had another garden patch in Ashley Stable and a large patch on top of the hill next to Frank Dinja's apple orchard. Dad grew about everything that could have been grown on that property. That very old Civil War house and property has its walls and soul overlaid with stories of joy, misery, and just plain existence. A fantasy that I always had was that sometimes when I was opening the front door of that old well-built structure, all the history would knock us down as it rushed out to get outside, shouting to the world what it knew. The giant walk walnut tree in the yard and others sh scattered over the property, watched over the place as if to guard it and its history. 
Some years ago, I got permission from the present owner to go on the property. As I walked in various areas, it brought back memories, emotions, and smells, and I could hear family members and friends' voices. Some things in space hang there. Now and then, we catch them for reflections. We were an active family, or at least we were active with what we had to do with. The word love was never spoken, but it didn't have to be used. It showed in our faces and by the way we cared about what happened to each other, what each other did, and how we stood up for each other. Yes, we had some hard times, but just like a lot of families, we endured. A lot of my fond memories are about our parents. They were special, honest, hardworking, talented people, and their purpose in life was to prepare their children to be good, responsible, law-abiding citizens who would give back to the world during their lives. 